Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, to start with, I would like to welcome anybody who have traveled uh, from abroad to come and uh, be with us in Dubai. Uh, I hope you had a uh, comfortable travel, and thank you for joining us. Uh, I would like to thank uh, my colleagues who have organized the, uh, uh, the conference uh, this morning uh, for this gathering. I must say that, uh, of course, really my, uh, my 18 years has, uh, has been mainly in the real estate business, and before that, I was in, in investment and a little bit on the government side. Uh, so therefore, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the property business is really what what's I'm known for, but, but the reality is that before that, I had exciting 12 years uh, in aluminum. So uh, the business of bauxite uh, and other uh, great materials was something that I was living with for quite a long time. And it's interesting enough that uh, almost, uh, I would say now, almost 14 years ago, uh, we almost started uh, an investment uh, in a, uh, an aluminum refinery in Guinea, uh, which was quite exciting. Uh, but I was a bit confused because when I first received the, uh, I remember I asked for a video because I wanted to see what does Africa look like? And uh, of course, all the technical advice is that you know, it has the richest bauxite uh, that you can get on earth. And I said, fine, that's all taken care of, it's there. Uh, but you know, I, show me a video, I just want to see how, how does this country look like? And, and for me, that was probably the whole of Africa. And I remember that I was, I was when I put that, uh, I don't know if it was a CD, but there was a, probably the old fashioned video at that time. Uh, and somehow it just showed the, 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 the beaches, uh, showed the, the, uh, uh, the type of uh, beautiful palms uh, on the waterfront on the coast of Guinea. And I said, you know, I don't know if I should really do uh, uh, a refinery, or well, I think we should go and do a resort there because it was just looking so beautiful. And, and that is the really true, the truth about Africa, is just, you know, beside what we know about Africa, is that it's just a, a beautiful continent. Uh, of course, unfortunately, when they talked to us about uh, Guinea, you know, before they told us about how rich uh, the land was, uh, we had a good four pages of how dangerous it was, and how bureaucratic it was, and how unstable it was. And unfortunately, uh, we got the wrong advice, so we haven't done uh, the deal, even though if we did the deal, I think uh, Dubai Aluminium today and my colleagues in Abu Dhabi, they would probably have uh, some of the best material in the world. Uh, they would have learned so much in, in 12, 13, 14 years. And I'm sure they would have gotten it uh, at an incredible price compared to what we, what we see today uh, in the world. And that is one thing that, you know, if it's, if it's the Middle East or uh, if it's Africa, we still suffer from uh, from not having the proper investment for us to do business, which is correct. I mean, uh, we understand very well that, you know, to do business uh, in the Middle East and go get a concession and, 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 and take it through and get the permissions, sometimes because of government rules, like Saudi Arabia just recently trying to open up the f in the field of, of mining for non-government entities to take concessions. Or if you talk about other countries where it's bureaucratic, it's, it's slow, um, probably the same will happen for Africa, just like us. But I tell people that, listen, uh, you know, we are developing countries. We are 20, 30, 40 years old. We're young. We are not 200 years old. We are not 400 years old. So people should give us some time for us to know how to deal with our environment. And um, so, so what happened is that, you know, I've, I've started the business um, closed about uh, four years ago uh, in the mining business, uh, myself and my colleagues from Malaysia. Um, and I must say that, uh, you know, I, my, my look was, uh, you know, when I viewed Africa, I viewed it and I just said that, you know, if I want to go do business in Africa, if it's Guinea or if it's Uganda, I have to respect the rules of Guinea and Uganda. And if I don't like the, like the rules of, say, for example, Angola, and if I think it's uh, bureaucratic, then I shouldn't go there. Uh, you know, but if you want to go there, then you have to respect the rules. You have to respect how people do business, and it's up to you. So the same thing, if you want to come to Dubai and you want to do business, these are the rules in Dubai. Maybe it is much slower than Singapore. Maybe it is more complicated than Kuala Lumpur. But if you want to do business, you have to respect 
the local laws and local environment, uh, some people better than others, and, and that's fine. So uh, interesting enough that I really haven't had uh, except fabulous experience in Africa. Uh, all the countries that we went to, um, we thought uh, we, we got welcomed. Uh, of course, for you to, to be welcomed, for you to do your business in Africa, you really have to build a relationship. You have to show that you are serious uh, about it, and, and people are willing to help you if you are, uh, if you are uh, serious. Uh, so we're really focused on uh, gold, uh, bauxite, iron ore. And one thing I, might, I must say that, you know, of course the industries and, and, and commodity uh, is going through its usual cycle as a result of what's going on globally. But we know very well that uh, the, uh, the commodities are going only one way. There's more population to come to, the, to Earth. Uh, there will be more demand. Economic activities in the world are going to come up. We know very well, we've seen the cycles up and down. Uh, so we understand that uh, no matter what demand, we'll be coming, uh, coming back for uh, uh, commodities. Now, will China be as crazy as it was in, in, you know, in, the, in, in the past years? I always say that there is really no need for China to be so active and to have 12% growth. I think 7% is good enough because if they grow 7% and India grows 7%, we are in big trouble. That's why when China was really fuming and taking every possible uh, commodity, you know, I, I do business, of course, in India, on my real estate side, and I say, you know, I am glad there is an Indian bureaucracy. I am uh, I'm glad that India is very slow, but if we had them all running, I think there'll, there'll be a true issue. I don't think there'll be enough uh, material to supply to both, uh, to both countries, or even port and facilities to, to accept uh, uh, resources. So I think, I think it's a fabulous uh, business uh, to be in. We are still young uh, in, the, in the business. We'd like to grow a little faster than uh, if, we, if we can, but I think for, for a young company, I think we are fine uh, at, the, at this stage. Uh, but I truly believe that, um, at least uh, in Africa, it's the perfect time for someone to, to acquire uh, assets uh, partly uh, you know, invested in or to go invest because I think values are good. And in my humble views, I don't think that's going to stay uh, for too long. I'll come back to Dubai a little bit, is that I really think Dubai is such an incredible hub because if you look at the Middle East and you look at, the, of course, the, the, uh, the, the financial resources that are available uh, in the Middle East, uh, and the Middle East is looking for opportunities to invest because, you know, we are, we are really um, oil-based uh, economies. But if you look at Africa, so, you know, you can really have a, a great uh, value and taking a lot of uh, the funding uh, capabilities that are available here, take it to Africa. But at the same time, we are a, we are a great uh, uh, platform for us really to, to take uh, natural resources only to our neighbors, either if it's India or Asia. So Dubai really sits in the middle of a very interesting area where you can uh, deploy investment into Africa, and then at the same time you can you can you know support and, and uh, send commodities and resources to uh, to Asia. So Dubai have always done that uh, very well. I would like to uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity uh, to talk to you. At the same time, uh, I hope you have a fruitful uh, discussion. And for those colleagues who are uh, visiting us, I hope you enjoy your stay in Dubai and uh, fly home comfortably. Thank you so much.